Okay, so I'm going to do another video on Le Chatelier's principle. Uh, and I realize these, I don't, don't, I don't think these are dependent on order, so this may be the first one you've seen. Using Le Chatelier's principle to predict a change, okay? Using Le Chatelier's principle to predict a change. And so in this case, it's predict the result of a changing temperature. I think that's the full title. Let's go over here, though. I did a little bit of board work in, in advance. So first of all, uh, this all lies within the purview of equilibrium, right? And by equilibrium, we mean that the ratio of products to reactants is constant. That's what we mean by equilibrium. That's the definition of equilibrium, okay? And so something's at equilibrium if this ratio at a particular temperature is constant, all right? Now, obviously, if the temperature changes, then maybe it'll favor the products over the reactants or whatever. And that's what this topic is all about. But it's important to appreciate what a constant means. It means that if the products go up, the reactants have to go up. If the products go down, the reactants have to go down because it's constant, all right? So, uh, and I've set up a little bit of um, um, stage here to, to say some more about that. Suppose then that we've got A and let's say plus 2B produces C and D. How do we write that expression? You've done this... Uh, successfully a couple times already, right? What we mean is, is squared, okay, like that. Now, uh, there's one more term I wanna add for this video, and that's the term endothermic, or what? What's the other term? It's exothermic, right? Exothermic, okay? Now, if, the, if a system is endothermic or exothermic, that means we add that it either produces heat or it consumes heat. Okay, so let's say uh, more interesting, and I think probably more common, is exothermic. By exothermic, we mean that one of the products is heat, right? It produces heat. So can you see that, uh, that one of the products is heat? Good, all right, suppose you can. Let me come over here, because I want to see this. Now, Le Chatelier's principle, let me remind you, is that um, a system that's perturbed or it's knocked out of equilibrium will respond in such a manner so as to restore equilibrium, right? If a system is perturbed or knocked out of equilibrium, it's going to respond in such a manner as to restore equilibrium. And so, if, let me come back over here, if we add extra A to this system, that means the denominator is going to get bigger. That means in order for that, for if, if A gets bigger, in order to keep, in order to keep K constant, B is going to have to get smaller and C and D are going to have to get bigger, right? Can you see that if B gets smaller, if B gets consumed, it's going to drive the reaction that way? And so um, we would say now, if we're going to add heat to this story, right, uh, I need to plug in my power here. This will just take a second and I'm not going to, I'm just going to keep the, the cameras rolling, all right? So I'm about to have a power computer. Okay. So if heat is one of our products, then adding heat is going to drive it away from the products. Oops. Right? You see that? If heat, let me get rid of this. Get from here. Come here. If heat is one of our products, and we add heat to the system, that is, we cre increase the temperature, it's going to drive everything that way, okay? So, we would get that from the word exothermic. If a system is exothermic, then heat is going to push it that way. If a system's endothermic, that means our heat would be over here, right? And it would be driving, an increase in temperature is going to drive it that way. A decrease in temperature for this, the reaction I've got here, look at this. If it's exothermic, a decrease in temperature is going to say, hey, we need more heat over here, right? All right, so it's going to bring it that way. All right, so let's go do a couple uh, example problems, and then we'll, we'll move on. So methane and water react to form hydrogen and carbon monoxide like this. Methane, water, hydrogen, carbon monoxide, okay? So it looks two moles of gas over here, four moles of gas over here, right, three plus one. I don't think it has anything to do with it, but let's look. Oh, it's a little bit too big here. Okay. Okay. So 
the reaction's endothermic. Okay, that means we've got heat over here. If it's endothermic, we've got heat here. Okay? So suppose a mixture of these things comes to react comes to equilibrium in a closed reaction. So we're, so we're starting at equilibrium. Then what change, if any, in the perturbations in the table below cause the what's gonna happen? Okay. So if temperature is raised and it's endothermic, we've got heat over here. If temperature is raised, it's gonna push things away from the heat, right? So it's gonna go that way. It's gonna go to the right. Okay? And what's gonna what's that gonna do to the pressure of H2? It's gonna increase it. Okay, what if the temperature is lowered? If the temperature is lowered and it's endothermic, right? Remember endothermic here. If the temperature is lowered, it's going to have to bring. It's going to the the system's going to respond to restore equilibrium. So it's going to push things toward the heat if the system is lowered, and so it's going to go to the left, right? Okay, what's that going to do with the pressure of methane? It's going to go up. Okay. All right, so it's just that simple. Let's do another one. Let's suppose, uh, let's more practice. Let's do another one and so let's suppose here that, an, okay, we're dealing with another endothermic reaction. That means we've got heat over here, all right? If, if we've got heat over here and the temperature is lowered, it's gonna want to, um, we, we need more heat because the temperature is lowered, right? In order to take the system back to equilibrium, we need more heat, so it's gonna to bring to the left, okay? And if it goes to the left, it looks like water's gonna be produced. It's gonna go up, okay? And if the temperature is raised, I guess we don't have much to, many options here, right? Because it's just the opposite of lowered. If the temperature is raised, that means we have too much heat. We're gonna to have to push it that way because it's endothermic. All right, and so it looks like O2 is gonna go up, okay? All right, that's kind of um, short, but um, hopefully that's helpful. Do a bunch of those, get really good at it, and then tell yourself it's easy. I do encourage you, though, to always go back to what we mean by equilibrium, okay? That's really going to help. If you're thinking about it like that, you'll understand the system better instead of just getting the, the questions right without understanding. All right, good luck.